Hello, welcome back. This is Wensi from Wensi's Toys Channel and today I will be building and reviewing the LEGO set 71753 The Fire Dragon Attack from the LEGO Ninjago Legacy series that was featured in Season 1 of the LEGO Ninjago cartoon series. So let's get right to it! Oh, but before I forget, please hit the thumbs up button if you have enjoyed this video and please hit subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet as YouTube analytics say that more than 90% of you have not yet subscribed and it would really help me a lot in bringing you more content and reviews in the future. Thank you very much.
Okay, so let's first take a look at the minifigures. So there's a total of four minifigures in this set. And this is the main villain for this set. Since this is from season one, so their main villains for the season were the skeletons. So this named skeleton is Whiplash. And I like, this is the first time that I've had the skeleton minifigure. So um, I just noticed that it's pretty much the same as any of the Star Wars droid minifigures, except for the torso. So they have clip on hands clip on feet and some minimalist printing for the um, sash here the waist sash and he has some shoulder armor and of course his head is the skull head which is pretty nice pretty nice detail he also has this kung fu hat this Chinese um, hat and yeah and there's very minimal printing even on the torso as you can see here um, and there is no printing at the back and of course since this is a skull bone then there is no printing at the back either since this this minifigure head is pretty much um, molded like a skull So next up we have Zane. So the minifigures that come with the set all have the season one uniform. So Zane here has a simple um, ninja gi with the dragon at the front. Um, but I don't remember Zane being already a ninjoid during this time. So I'm not sure why they put him on his ninjoid outfit. So but in any case it has a very nice season one printing of the gi also has some leg printing and he also has some shoulder armor he comes with shurikens and also just one katana blade and underneath the helmet or the ninja mask is just the angry zane face and of course since this is the ninjoid zane there is no actual back secondary face um, it only has his back printing for the head and of course we have Kai since this is the fire dragon set and Kai's elemental power is fire and Zane's is ice so it was a nice combo there for fire and ice and he also has this season one um, ninja Gi with the nice torso print of the dragon that continues down to the leg printing which is pretty nice effect and he also has just one katana blade but he also has this fire dragon sword that he gets during the season and it's a pretty nice sword so it's all in one piece so this is nice and then underneath his ninja mask is his angry face with his signature um, bandage over the top. And he also has a secondary happy face. And let's try to look at the um, back printing as well for Kai here. And he also has this nice dragon printing from that's continuing from the front here which is a pretty nice effect unfortunately it is going to be um, covered up with his shoulder armor and lastly since this is the Lego Ninjago legacy series and it's the 10th year anniversary of Lego Ninjago we have here the golden Nia ninja minifigure so she has a very nice golden gi here with the light blue um, striping and also on her waist sash so that is a nice effect and like all other lego ninjago stands for the 10th anniversary she has this light blue marking to signify that it's her pedestal and an Unlike the previous wave that has the most of the ninjas using their ninja 
face mask. She only has her mini face mask that covers her mouth. And she has a sa or bandana over her head for her hair piece. So she gets also two katana swords. And if we look here, so she has her angry face here. Then at the back, she also has her happy face. Okay, so on to the main build. And of course, this is the Fire Dragon. So this set is called the Fire Dragon Attack. And it came in Season 1 Then when the ninjas were trying to tame all their elemental dragons. And this was the Fire Dragon. And I've got to say, I like the that they gave us this dragon head. That it's a printed and molded dragon head. Um, and not a Lego built dragon head. Like mostly what they would use. And the articulation on the head is pretty nice. Goes up and down on the main... Um, neck vertebra at the back of the head and it's also going up and down on the neck and also here at this side going up and down on further down the neck um, this is a pretty um, hefty built dragon as you can see he has a six pack here and also quite a large gate for the rib cage here it's a pretty nice interesting build on how it was done as you can see in my fast build and the one thing that I wish that they had done or several things I guess I, that I wish they had done so this only has articulation up and down here splaying out the dragon which is a weird pose right but there are he the dragon doesn't have knees or angles so this is pretty much how you can pose the dragon standing up and also the wings or the hands can only go up and down can go inside can go like this which is a nice pose but um, as you can see here the wings itself doesn't have the a locking mechanism so this the wings are, it was pretty nice that they gave us cloth for the wings and not um, plastic so but the cloth does make it pretty heavy so as you can see here the Technic pins and certain poses will not give you a splayed out wing also because the hands or the wings can only go up and down and then left or inside and out the only pose that you can do with the dragon pretty much being on all fours like this is like this it's a little bit hard to show as you can see the legs since because you cannot move the legs um, doesn't have any knees or ankles the only thing that can support it are its toes and also the same with the arms since the only um, articulation is at the armpit area it doesn't have any elbows or well it has some sort of a wrist but it's not much it's pretty hard to get him to pose like this it's there this pose here pretty much is supported by the hands or the wings okay so those are my qualms about this it's a nice set they did a pretty nice recreation of the fire dragon as it was brick built and i was a little bit hesitant in getting this set because i don't like brick built creatures um it loses their um, naturality if I could if there's such a word or 
it looks a little more different in the show, right? It's it, it has scales and all that in the show, but here if it's brick built, you can't have that kind of texture. And also there is some hooks here at his neck. You can show it there where this carriage will go on. So once Kai tames his dragon, he can ride his dragon like here, like so. So he can ride it like that. So you can see if you're not posing him correctly, he's gonna want to go down pretty much. Okay? And that's it for my review of the LEGO set 71753, the Fire Dragon Attack from the LEGO Ninjago Legacy Series. And again, if you have enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and please hit subscribe to help me out in my future content and future reviews. Till next time, Ninjago!